one word that describes Nathan Ferris Gaines. It is warrior. He is a warrior. W-A-R-R-I-O-R. -R -R warrior. You are a warrior in all you do, Nate. And show me. Also, what else would I like to say about this Nathan Ferris Gaines? I find him quite interesting. He can answer just about any question. I ask him lots of questions, especially when we're up north. I need him. Love you, Nate. Bam! Eighth grade on to freshman year. Hey, Nate. Okay, why do I love you? I love you because you are so kind. You pay attention to the details of people and you always ask about them. You notice things, and I really like how you notice things about people and you love the outdoors and I love that. I just think you are just a kind, really neat, awesome boy. So that's why I love you. And then if I had to describe you in one word, I would say kind. And that's really awesome because that's something that can't be taught. You kind of just gotta be, I mean, your parents can teach you, but I'm saying like in school, you don't really learn that. So just keep on being awesome. I think you are just the neatest kid. I love you, Nathan. Congrats, woo woo. Here comes high school, where you can join new different clubs. Chance to just kinda reinvent yourself, try things out. And remember, don't peak in high school. Nothing ever good happens if you peak in high school. <laughs> love you, Nathan. Hi, Nate, this is your Aunt Jackie. I'm doing this because I love it when I see you on the farm. You're always, you always have a big smile. And I think you're great. You're one tremendous young man. What's the one word to describe him? You're a farm boy, Nate. That's the word to describe you. Hi, Nate! Hey. We wanted to say happy graduation and congratulations on graduating eighth grade. We love you so much. And the boys wanted to tell you their favorite thing about you. I like riding the golf cart with you. Oh. Excuse you. <laughs> what do you like, Graham? I like fishing with you. And I have these. Keep being awesome, buddy. We love you. Hey, Nate. Congratulations. You are my little kind Nathan Ferris and help grab me up all the time. I love you. Congratulations on your graduation. Nathan. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> What's the one? I'm choking up. Very proud of you. Couldn't be more proud. Well, he's proud of you too. Just keep working the way you have been. We need you in the family, on the farm. Love you forever. Hard working. What's your word, Mom? Thoughtful, loyal. Oh, she's going with two. Godly. Three. You can't just ever pick one. No. There's too many. You've already too many good qualities. You're you've already made something wonderful. You've made eight grade you just being a good person. Congratulations, yep. man. And you're good looking, you're good at baseball. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We love you, Nathan. Oh, oh yes, yes, we, we do. do. We love you, Nathan, and we'll be true. Oh, yeah, we love you, Nathan. We're blue. Oh, Nathan we love you. Oh, yes, we do. And I like your dirty jokes, too. Hey, Nate, it's Dad. Congratulations on graduating from eighth grade. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you. Couldn't be more proud of you and excited about the future you have and the four years ahead of you going to high school. A um, couple questions that we have to address. Number one is a word that really defines Nate, in my opinion. And I've thought about it a lot, and there's lots of words that I think make up who Nate is. But the one I'm going to use today is heart. Because um, 
Nate has a really big heart. Um, as big as, as a mountain. I'm going to take you there someday. That's Glacier National Park. Um, but Nate has just a huge heart for everybody. He loves people. He's very thoughtful. Um, he puts others before himself. And he is particularly good with the kids of special needs. And I'm so proud of you for that. Um, why do we love Nate so much? Well, he makes it easy. Um, what's not to love about Nate? Um, I love everything about him. He's my son. He's a great kid. Um, he's thoughtful. He treats others well. Um, he's smart. He's adventurous. He's funny. Um, and he's my fishing buddy. We've had lots of fun times fishing together, lots of adventures, national parks, and just everyday life adventures. Um, I love you, Nate. Proud of you. Um, you're becoming a young man, and I can't wait to, to see you continue to grow up and develop and just slow that down by the way because let's enjoy it for a while all right love you pal hey nate it's aunt bonnie melanie jack fang <laughs> we came to wish you congratulations on your graduation from eighth grade and we all have one word for you caring kind tell you but something about butts <laughs> Hardworking. <laughs> All great things, Nate. We love you and happy graduation. Happy graduation. We made this jam out session just for you. Right, Vinny? No. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Lean in and say bye. 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 We love you. We're so proud of you. Hi, Nate. This is Grandpa wishing you congratulations on becoming a 2020 graduate especially in this very difficult time that we're in with the pandemic. But I know you're on to bigger and better things. Now with that in mind, I want you to remember that it wasn't all that long ago you received confirmation. The strength of the Holy Spirit. I want you to remember to keep that inner strength, that moral strength close by, keep Jesus close by as you begin these high school years because you're going to be exposed to a lot of new and different kinds of challenges and experiences and you're going to want to be able to make good choices the right choices the right decisions and we know you will keep jesus close stay strong stay healthy be safe congratulations take care bye bye hi nate, hi, nate. congratulations from the coffee family Congratulations, buddy. Good luck in high school. You're going to have so much fun in high school. We can't wait to celebrate your graduation. Make sure you get the popcorn chicken, the best lunch <laughs> ever there. Okay, say congrats. Congratulations. Wave, Dirk. Dirk, say congratulations, Nate. Say good job, buddy. Give him a, <laughs> give him a thumbs up. Give him a thumbs up. All right. Yeah. We're proud of you. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Congrats! Congrats! Congrats, Nate. Nate! We're so proud of you for graduating eighth grade. She's <sighs> so happy she pulled her pants. <laughs> Can't believe you're going to be in high school. Rena, can you blow him a kiss? Oh, that's a wet one. Say bye bye. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> love you, Nate. Yeah. Right. Congratulations, Nate. Congratulations. Happy graduation. What do we like about Nate? Well, he's good looking. He's good looking. But he's also thoughtful and generous and kind. Yes, definitely. Keep up the good work. Hope you have a great summer. Look forward to seeing you next soon. Have fun in high school. And don't turn into a butthole. What? Well, he's going to be a high school. He's going to be a teenager. Well, okay. Hopefully we can do hey, that. Nate, we're back for graduation wishes round two. Because round one was missing Uncle Joe and Finn. What were you? You were inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Finny, what do you want to say to Nate? Awesome and funny. You're awesome and funny. He is awesome and funny. Good job. All right, Nate, congratulations on graduating eighth grade. Good work. 
and uh, good luck uh, heading to high school. Good job. Crazy! Yes. Lincoln Way! Woohoo! Hi Nate, Kristen and Phil here, and we just want to wish you some congratulations. You're probably wondering why we're holding this cheesy heart sign for you, but we just wanted you to know we're sending our love, and we figured it couldn't be anything any crazier than anything your Aunt Julie's going to do for you. Congratulations, Nate. Congrats, Nate.